Okay, in this video, we're going to look at simplifying fractions. Uh, it's first important to always to understand why you're going to do something, and simplifying fractions is vital because um, it allows us to understand answers better. Uh, for instance, in, off the top of your head, you may not know um, what 42 out of 56 means, but when you simplify it, it means three. It simplifies to three fourths or 75 percent, which is much easier to understand and deal with. Uh, in the same way, it makes that, that number is much more manageable to, to multiply by or do other things with. And so, so it really just helps us. It's a tool to, to help us solve uh, other problems better. Um, how do we do it? Well, we really use this property of 1, which says um, anything divided by itself, so like uh, we might think of it as two variables, x over x just equals 1. And so our goal is going to be to create these x over x opportunities because we can do what we call cancel those out and make them equal to 1. So for I give you an example there of simplifying 12 over 18. Well, 12 over 18 can be changed to 2 times 6 over 3 times 6. It's just factoring 12 and 18. And then you can actually separate it out to be 2 thirds times 6 over 6, but 6 over 6 cancels to be 1, and so 2 thirds is a simplified and equivalent fraction to 12 over 18. Now, when you're actually simplifying um, these, we don't have to write every step out. Instead, we can just divide the same number out of the numerator and the denominator. It's the same tactic. Uh, so, for instance, um, 12 and 18, we say, well, what's 12 divided by 6? That's 2. What's 18 divided by 6? That's 3. So your goal is to find something that divides the numerator and divides the denominator. So here are some examples. The first one, 32 over 36. You always want to, you know, your fastest way is to find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. But if you don't know those off the top of your head, look for things you do know. So for instance, since 32 and 36 are both even, I can divide 2 into both of them. And 32 divided by 2 is just going to equal 16, and 36 divided by 2 is going to be 18. So I've simplified this fraction to 16 over 18. But that's not simplest form. You always want to get to simplest form. So we divide, we notice 16 and 18 are even again, so they both divide by 2. And so 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. 8 over 9 is our answer. Looking at 42 over 70, we want to see something that goes into both those. Well, maybe you notice that 2 goes into both those because they're both even. So 42 divided by 70 is just 21. Um, 70 divided by 2 is 35. So dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, you get 21 over 35. Now we look at 21 and 35 and hopefully notice that those are both multiples of 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. 3 fifths is the correct answer because 3 fifths is equivalent to 42 over 70. Example 3, well, um, you're looking at this, they're, neither one of them are even, so we know they're not going to divide by 2, so you just use another divisibility rule. The easiest divisibility rule to use on this one is 5, right? They both end in 5, so they both have to be divisible by 5. Now, on this one, it may not be as intuitive to you, so you may have to do a little math. 225 divided by 5, well, that's going to give you 4, 20, 25, which is 5, and so that's going to give you 45. And then you've got to do 315 divided by 5. Well, 5 goes into 31 6 times, and 15 3 times, and so it's going to be 63. So now we've changed 45, uh, uh, 225 over 315 to 45 over 63. But we don't want to ever stop until we're sure that there's nothing else that goes into those. Well, a 5 doesn't go into 63, so we can't do another 5. But what we might notice then is use the visibility rule for 3, and so we add the digits. 4 plus 5 is 9, 6 plus 3 is 9, those are both divisible by 3, but they're also both divisible by 9, and so you might have noticed that both of these are multiples of 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5, 63 divided by 9 is 7, and so your answer is 5 sevenths. So that's a quick tutorial on how to simplify fractions, an important uh, thing in all dealings with fractions.